Now let's try to look at the layout tab. So click on the layout tab on the stats bar. So click on layout one. And we are presented with the uh, paper. Okay. So this is the default paper. And we have here the uh, default uh, viewport. So this rectangle that highlights when you hover your cursor over it is the viewport. You can click this one and you could assign here. I'll just close this one. Assign here the uh, scale. So let's try to click that uh, drop down arrow. Let's try to assign ones to one. And there uh, it enlarges the drawing scene uh, bounded uh, by this viewport. And let's just uh, turn that to ones to 100. And that's the uh, drawing. So we assign here the scale for our drawings and we use different viewports to have different drawing scales so per drawing if you want to use different scales for a drawing you have to provide different viewports but uh, before we uh, create uh, viewports for our drawings uh, let us set up first the uh, paper for our layout so if you have selected your uh, viewport just uh, press escape to exit from that and to properly set our paper if you notice we have here a, a dashed line this is the uh, printable area so meaning your drawings will only be printed within the bounds of this dashed line and if you right click, so right click on our uh, layout tab, layout one tab, and then select on page setup manager, we could modify this layout. Okay, so let's try to modify it. So click on this uh, button. So click on modify. And similarly to what we have done, uh, when we have plotted the title block in the model space or model tab, we start from top, going down, and then going to the right. Okay? So currently, we already have set the plot style to our own newly created CTB file. So I repeat, CTB stands for Color Dependent Plot Style Table. So assign again the printer. So, let's use the same printer that we have used, uh, dwg to pdfpc 3 So, click on this. And then, let's check if our borderless is still there. So, we still have the A3 borderless. So, select again on A3 borderless. Then, so it's properly set up. Uh, plot area, this should always be, of course, layout. Okay? So, it must be uh, set to layout. And plot offset, we uh, plot it to uh, zero, 0, And this is from printable area. Okay? And take note, our printable area is within or coincides with the uh, outline of our paper or to the edge of our paper. And this must always be set to 1 is to 1. In plotting your drawings through your model tab, you could use different uh, scales, okay? Uh, on your plot dialog box. Notice this change when you are in the layout tab. It becomes a page setup dialog box. When you are tinkering the plot settings on the model tab it is a plot dialog box so since we are in the layout tab it's a page setup dialog box and i repeat on the plot scale this must be maintained strictly to scale one is to one and in model tab you could change that to whatever scale you want and if these are calibrated correctly let's try to uh Click on preview. And this is the proper paper. It's A3. Okay. 
and this is the viewport so let's close it first and then okay for our plot style table and then okay for the right pane so just click okay and then close so we have set now our paper correctly into the uh, appropriate size of a3 size paper so let's rename this so right click on layout one and then let's uh, click on rename and of course we type a3 so a3 dash sheet then just click outside to accept the renaming landscape now i want you to select the viewport and again we could change the scale so let's try to change to 1 to 10 and that's how it changes and similar to rectangles you could click on these uh, grip points to expand or to adjust the size of the viewport 